everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I thought I'd show off my completed sketchbook tour of my Mossery sketchbook. Now I picked this up for myself about a year ago now and as you can see this book is very much loved. And this is because I wanted a watercolour sketchbook that not only would I be happy looking through, that I was proud to look through each of its pages and say it was something that I was happy with. Um, I've tried a few watercolour sketchbooks in the past and not had much success, especially with the moleskin watercolour sketchbook, I just could not get on with it. But this sketchbook, in all honesty, I think it might be one of my favourites. Now before I dive into that, I just thought I'd show some of the things that I've been keeping in this little pocket here, which was some watercolour pieces that I've been practising, some my first stickers and some concept art. Some of you may recognise some of these uh, from um, pieces that I've posted online and some of these are just concept works for designs that I'd like to work on in the future. Um, with this sketchbook, I wanted to treat it as a clean sketchbook and in the end it didn't end up becoming that but I have more than one sketchbook. I have a sketchbook that's for thumbnailing which I would love to show in the future which is very loose and very stylized in certain specific ways but with this sketchbook I really wanted to use it to practice watercolours and try lots of different techniques. I've been doing watercolours on and off for the last four years now and there's a lot of techniques that I have learned over time but there's still a lot of stuff that I'd like to learn and when using this palette in particular which is the Winter and Newton Cotman watercolours um, I've been using this palette for quite a while and I really wanted to practice some different techniques that I haven't done in a while so I wanted to try some wet on wet techniques some uh, wet on dry techniques and trying different things that I hadn't normally done before so some concept pieces that are in here that you may have seen seen before on my Instagram or on my Twitter. There's some draw this in your style pieces, um, some fun summer concepts uh, for my characters, some D&D character designs, um, in particular this one, this one Zilla, my D&D character, uh, well one of my D&D characters, um, my little uh, druid, I absolutely adore her, she's my beanpole. Um, as well as D&D character designs and concepts for future art pieces. Um, I think I started this summer last year um, so it's been nearly a year in the making and as you can see it was quite a while for me to fill the sketchbook and this is because in a way I was afraid to fill it. One because the sketchbook cost me a fair amount of money. This sketchbook goes between 18 to 20 pounds if you order it from the company themselves. There is now a UK supplier and the sketchbooks go for 25 to 30 pounds each. So it's not a cheap sketchbook in any way, shape or form. So I didn't want to fill it because I was so afraid that I wasn't going to be able to get another one. Um, but I'm really glad that I picked one up because it definitely made me think about how I was going to apply my work and how I wanted to do my concepts in the future and build up on that. There's definitely weak points in this sketchbook, um, there's stuff that I definitely should have worked on, I should have worked on more background stuff, I needed to work on more concept art as well as build up my portfolio but there's a lot of stuff that I'm really happy with in this sketchbook and as you can see some of these concepts were built up into bigger pieces that you have seen, some you haven't seen yet um, and it was just a way for me to really try out doing different techniques with watercolours. Now when I'm going to talk about this paper it's possibly one of my favourites. The paper is so lovely and it's so thick. Um, I really don't like that page. <laughs> I don't like these two pages. I was having a really bad art day that day. Um, it was really a nice way of being able to try because this paper was so thick and it was such lovely quality. It was a cold press watercolour so I was having to think about how I was using the paper in specific ways. Um, you can see that I was trying always to do something a little bit different with the watercolour. I was trying washes with different pens, seeing how it would affect with the pens and it was just a lot of different techniques that I was trying out. Some pages I'm happy with, some pages I'm not happy with. But I think that's what's important about sketchbook. Not everything you're going to 
you are going to do in that sketchbook is going to be perfect and you should be able to try out different things in your journey for example here i was trying out different tiefling horns and this was as um i was designing a new D, &D character i was trying to think of different ways of presenting the horns for a D, &D character and how i could make the horns reflect the personalities and vice versa um some very rough concepts in here and some very clean concepts i just wanted to to explore different ways of trying different things and you're gonna see um, Lula my little orange halfling druid character as well as these unicorn girls that I created to be the fronts of my sketchbook so this unicorn that you see on the right she is the concept for sketchbook 2 and there is another one that will be for sketchbook 3 and these were all my critical role stickers that I made and this is a technique of putting a very light wash of marker down and then building up texture with watercolours um, this is one of my favourite techniques to do um, because you can get a really strong bold colour underneath and then build up through that one of the things I'm disappointed in myself is that I didn't use the aquiline in here which is kind of sad because they're such bright colours um, you can see that I'm doing concept here for like the Pokemon Day and Night and as well as more uh, sketches of my D&D character Lula Twigberry um, unfortunately both campaigns that I was playing in are on hold however I do have NPCs that I have been designing for my own campaign for example this one Cinder and she is a uh, tiefling rogue and she's known as one of the magpies that works in a guild um, you also see me putting little notes down and this is for me looking at concepts and saying okay how could I improve this um, how could I do this that and the other um, just to help not only flesh out what I do in the future but for me to come to understand how can I correct myself with illustrations um, there's a lot that I really want to work on and a lot that I know that I can improve on um, I just know that a sketchbook is the perfect place to do that and I didn't treat this sketchbook as a sketchbook and I should have done um, towards the end of using it I started really doing it that way and started to do more loose concept work um, I really like this piece on the right this is an NPC in my game called Southern Bell um, and she's a tiefling that runs a bar <laughs> I really love her so much um, I really enjoyed designing characters in this sketchbook and designing concepts for bigger pieces um, these two pages are actually all concepts for D&D stuff as well um, a lot of D&D stuff in this sketchbook I will admit and I think that's just because the more world building I've done uh, the more it's kind of become a part of my life really um, this one on the left was for catnips draw this in your style and this page on the right is a summer concept for a watermelon witch um, and she has a watermelon hamster um, and a little familiar um, it's a concept that I will be fleshing out more for a future video uh, so keep your eyes peeled on that uh, this was just trying a few watercolour techniques um, and different styles nothing really fancy on this page um, that's that of a unicorn girl which is going to be for my third sketchbook cover I really don't like this page on the right um, the skin is just too muddied and on the last page it's uh, a concept for a future piece that I want to work on I want to redo uh, my dragon girl series that I did a while ago and do them all in watercolor so I was trying out some techniques there and there's, there's just some blank paper and some character quick designs and that was this sketchbook overall what I learned from this is I really have enjoyed using watercolor over the years there are a lot of concepts that I would like to flesh out in future videos but I think a sketchbook should be treated as a journey and not something that's to be treated as precious in the beginning I was being too precious with this sketchbook and I think that really affected my journey and as I loosened up in this sketchbook I found that I got better overall and it really helped me flesh out more concepts in fact over half of this sketchbook was done in the last two months so that just goes to show you how precious I was trying to be with it just because 
I didn't want to fill it. I didn't want the sketchbook to end. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you wish to see more sketchbook content, let me know in the video, uh, in the comment section down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And as always folks, stay creative.